Hi everyone. <laughs> so <laughs> I was promising you the 12 fast setup, but I found the ESC in my uh, in my shelf on my shelf. That is actually 8S 200 amp ESC, a really old ESC that was lying around, and I just put it in. So we are coming back to the yesterday's test. Uh, first. It's gonna be the cheater holes. I covered it again with the, with the film. So first flight on 6S is gonna be with cheater holes covered. Second with uncovered and it will compare the sound and the top speed. I think I have to change this servo one day, but I don't have time. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be interesting. And then the third flight, then the third flight is going to be on 8S three parallel, so the battery is going to be two and a half kilos, very heavy, but uh, the setup is going to be over 200 amps, super interesting, and we'll see if, if everything holds, if nothing burns, because I didn't put the, the heat sink on the motor, but I hope it won't burn, okay, and I have two interesting things, this is the, the drive for the big Odyssey that I'm building, 120 millimeter uh, rotor from JP, with Vemotec uh, <laughs> spinner, <laughs> it fits perfectly, <laughs> so it's nice because the hub of the rotor is 28 millimeters. So, and I was expecting this to be so small, and that's why I'm using only 40 millimeters uh, motor, which gives me a, a better air flow around the around the motor, because normally they use 50 or 55 millimeter motors on this on this uh, rotor, but I think it's just waste of space. So I'm, I'm using a very heavy, very big 40 millimeter motor on the, the 120 20 uh, rotor. And I already tested it. And it delivers 240 amps on 12S. 240 amps on 12S, which is 10 kilowatts. It's a lot. It's very strong. But I'm very, very happy to to test it and to try it. And this is interesting. This is uh, 120 millimeters also, but it's my design. It's kind of similar to Vemotech because I really like the design of Vemotech. It's very smart design. So I just extended the blades from 100 to 120. Uh, of course, it's a 3D design. It's in the computer. And I printed this one from in my 3D printer. I'm using Prusa which is a very good printer and very inexpensive. And I printed this in nylon with carbon fiber reinforcement. And I already tried it, used it, and it's marvelous. It's really nice. And also the nylon with carbon fiber inside is super strong. It's, it's almost like metal. It's so strong. So I'm going to try it and I'm going to try the efficiency of this rotor against the efficiency of this rotor on the stand and I'm very curious how it's gonna how it's gonna work because the the load the amp draw is very similar of those both rotors so it looks interesting very interesting and one tip for everyone of, uh, with printing nylon with carbon fiber to have it successful because I tried it many times you have to print super, super slow, like 20 millimeters per second. Then the nylon extrudes really smooth and really nice without any holes, without any gaps. So super slow, so you have to be patient. And temperature high, so I'm printing on 290 degrees. And the, tape, the, the heat, uh, heat uh, you know, how you call it, heat bed, 105, I think. And you have to use uh, paper glue, otherwise it doesn't stick. Normal, normal like glue for the children in school. Okay, so this is nice and very interesting. And this is not a shroud from JP, because the rotor is JP, but the shroud is mine, I designed it. And the design is very special, because the stator blades are not straight, they are curved a little bit, They're, the leading edge is at the angle. And also the distance between the rotor and the stator is greater. And this is all to improve sound. Now the, the, the EDF sounds like super nice. And this is, this is also how I use it on Vemotech. 
I use also the original Vemotec uh, shrouds, but I then I make bigger distance between the rotor and the and the shroud. But this way it's quieter, and I also uh, optimize this and design this for super nice efficiency. So it's it's really nice. The the number of of stator blades and the, and the thickness and the and the profile everything is is designed. I, I actually work on it for many years already, and I designed many of them, and it's it's working and it's really nice. And this is printed with the ASA plastic. It's like a much stronger version of of ABS, and also has to be printed at 200 uh, at 290 degrees, otherwise it, the liars won't stick stick enough. So it's very strong. It resists 100 degrees, so it's enough, and it's very efficient and quiet. So this is going to be the drive for the big Odyssey 14 kilogram jet. Okay, so enough talking, back to test. Cheater holes, no cheater holes, like no cheater holes, cheater holes, and then and then probably with cheater holes 8, 8S setup. So I hope it will be successful this time, and as I promised, the grass is cut, the, the airfield is ready because I was bored, not bored, but I had time yesterday, so I did it. Okay, see you soon. Uh, see you after flight. Yeah. Okay, so the first test is done. It was 110 amps, 2.1 kilowatts. If you can see, uh, seven minutes flight, and with cheater holes covered, it was quiet. I think uh, the sound was lower. Uh, but the uh, top speed with the pitot tube was 181, and the, the uh, GPS uh, was. 160, 163, but I don't think the GPS was uh, catching because it has kind of a latency, kind of a delay GPS. So to catch, to measure correctly this GPS sensor, you have to go really long straight. Then it, it measures properly. But I was carving a lot. So 180 kilometers per hour with covered cheater holes with little diving but not much and now I'm gonna uh, open the cheater holes and fly again on the same batteries and uh, and we'll see. So let's change batteries and try again.
This was a flight on the same setup, 6S, to parallel, like the previous one. And already at the takeoff I felt the difference. It was 112 amps, not 110 amps. And 2250 watt, so a little bit more. But I felt that uh, there is more power and more... And during flight I felt there is more vertical performance. The, the, the climb was was much better with cheater holes so this is gain also the plane is louder so it sounds more jet like more turbine like turbine like which is nice <laughs> so cheater holes work is better and what is the most important most interesting is the top speed top speed on pitot tube or maybe i click to this screen on pitot tube was 194 so it's 13 kilometers per hour faster than previously with cheater holes covered and the GPS clocked now 203 kilometers per hour so so it caught it but I think we should stick with the Pito tube so it is definitely faster with cheater holes open which is nice because sound is better plane is faster and there is a better vertical performance the climb is better so everything is better so I'm pleased and now the last test I hope the plane won't burn. <laughs> it's the 8S200 200 amp setup. We won't have the, the reading of the, uh, of the amperage and the watts because I don't have the sensor that goes so high. But I, I measured it back home. So it's about 200 amps on the 8S. So it's interesting. We just see the top speed. But I hope everything is fine. So let's fly and check it out. Something broke, something broke. But we had uh, 235 kilometers per hour. I go to check it out if it's not burning. Uh, so the plane is. Not broken, <laughs> nothing is damaged. I just check the temperature of the motor. It's not hot. It's warm, but not hot. And it doesn't smell, so it's not the motor. I suspect either the ESC gave up or soldering of the bullets, uh, bullet connectors between the ESC and the motor, because I didn't change them. These are normal uh, thin ones. I think they are 4 mm or 3 mm bullets, the, the, the small ones, that I use up to 100, 120 amps. And now we had a lot. We had 5 kilowatts at least. But it's nice, because without, like diving was exactly like, yeah, when, like during the other flights, I didn't go higher. The top speed with PTO tube was 235, so way faster, uh, which is nice. Yeah, and that's it, the GPS didn't measure. Okay, so it was fun, the sound was good, the, the rotor was balanced, which is nice. Uh, it's fun, I think if I have a strong ESC, 
it would be nice to fly on the 8S 8S uh, setup with 200 amps. It's interesting, but at least we did the test, and uh, the next test is gonna be 12S 6 kilowatts, the one that I was telling about in the last video. So it's interesting, and that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. <laughs>